The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Hello, this is Patty Hunter. Today, on my Patty's Page TV show, I'm going to be Skyping an interview with Taylor Fredericks, who used to be a singer, and now he is a filmmaker here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So in a moment, I'll introduce you to Taylor. And so, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you at the end. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Taylor Fredericks. How are you? I, I am good, thank you. Welcome to Patty's Page TV show. Happy to be here. I know. Uh, you've been on my show several times before, so my audience should know you by now. Yeah. But just in case, tell me, you were a singer many moons ago, right? Yes, I was. Yeah. And uh, when did you change to what you're doing now? What is your current position title? Um, right now I am uh, currently, uh, I have my own production company, Static Heart Productions, and uh, I make music videos as well as films. Your and, director? Uh, the reason I switched over from that is um, with music I became burnt out with it. I really mm -hmm. didn't have a passion for it anymore, and that's when I decided to go with my other passion, which was films and movies and started creating my own and yeah that's where I, how I am here today. Did you have to go to school or something like that to learn? Um, I went to IPFW for a couple of years but I ended up dropping out um, mostly because everything that I was learning mm. at IPFW was stuff that I already knew how to do, stuff that I actually learned in high school Right. and you know, the one thing I did benefit from it was uh, was actually the history of film. That's good. Other than that, yeah, other than that, it was pretty pretty much stuff I already knew how to do, so I just decided to drop out and start my own production company and that's how I, that's how Static Car Productions became. Why that name? I don't know. I've always had like a I've always had like a fascination with hearts. Like I have a bunch of tattoos that are that have hearts or have the word heart in it. I just um, I I see it as it's obviously a, a significance to life, and um, I just have a really big, um, really big fascination with that. Static, meaning dead space, dead noise, and then heart meaning life, so bringing life to dead air. So that's true. That's, I need that for me too, eh? <laughs> <laughs> just call me a blonde, you know, dizzy blonde. Uh, anyways, uh, your what was your short? Film. What was the first one that you had done? Uh, my first short film I did was it 2015. Mm -hmm. It was uh, Trapped. It was um, a three minute short film that I did for the My Road Real competition, um, which I worked with my buddy Trent Boston on. And he's, a, he's an amazing musician, but also an even, even better actor, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Dude's, you know, dude's top-notch, pro quality, um, so it was great to work with him on my first film. It was his first film, too, and so it was definitely a new experience for both of us, and um, that was about a couple years ago, and then probably a year after that is when I um, filmed um, Desolate, mm. which is, uh, kind of stepped it up a little bit. Um, I actually had my buddy Bryce and Mariah, who I work with on the regular, um, they pretty much did cinematography and sound for me for the film and it was a uh, not only my second short film but it was my first film where I was actually the main character in oh you and, are a character I know that <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, was, I was the main character in this one and uh, 
really there was only a few lines of dialogue. A lot of it was voiceover stuff that I did. Yeah. Uh, but it meant a lot to me because it was a film that um, I dedicated um, to my grandfather because in the film you see me as this character going through a terrible day where it's his grandfather's death anniversary oh. and um, his girlfriend happened to break up with him that same exact day. And uh, it's pretty um, relative when it came, comes to my own life because the day we actually shot that film was literally the death anniversary of my grandfather. So it was pretty pretty emotional. But, Heavy, yeah. Uh, it definitely worked out in the film's favor. And, yeah, so that's that was the, that. And then after that was The Realist, which you know, know a little bit about. Yeah. Um, we can show a little bit of clip of, of that, uh, of the realist that you have, the trailer. Hello, Mr. Patterson. I'm Detective Vincent Shelton. Mike, did you grow up here in Springwood? Yep, born and raised. It's a good place to grow up. Oh, you must be... Stephen Birch. I'm Mr. Patterson's attorney. Uh, anything Michael might have explained is now under my jurisdiction. How's Michael Patterson case going? I'll tell you if it were any more peachy, we'd have to open up a damn fruit stand. I just want to know everything you know, or anything that uh, you can think. I feel like I'm forgetting something. How's that really again? This is still my mind. I'm sorry, but there's really nothing I can tell you that will help anything. I did everything I can to protect my family. And how about the one that you're working on now? What's that? Well, it's, it's a funny thing. Well, the one that I'm working on right now that's in production, we still got a couple weekends of shooting it, um, is called And In A Moment. And it's different from what The Realist was. The Realist was a crime thriller, and it's that stemmed from a, a music video concept idea that I had, that I created and wanted to pretty much um, dig deeper into this story and kind of have a better basis to the story and that's how the realist came about mm -hmm. but that was a crime thriller this new one and in a moment is a romantic drama oh yeah um which is completely different than anything i've ever done um not only with the genre but with the shooting people. technique yeah yeah uh, my buddies austin and bryce are my cinematographers on it they um a totally different style for them um and directing technique for me as well because a lot of it is very spontaneous and unscripted so it makes it for a, you know a really true story a really real um, reaction I, so it's like ad lib there. right ad lib yeah like yeah like improvisation and a lot of it is that is involved with that so that's what makes this a big different story um i'm also playing the main actor in it with uh, Brittany Rochelle Smith mm -hmm. and uh, Tony Schaefer. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, the one film I actually started finishing yesterday after started after filming it almost a year ago. Right. I actually filmed it before The Realist was a film called Claire Obscure. And it's a really abstract, um, artsy version of The Witching Hour. Oh, so, a horror movie. <laughs> not really. It's really not a horror movie. You might think it is because it's The Witching Hour, but it's a different spin on uh. The Witching Hour itself. So, yeah, it's it's it was definitely different. It definitely um, was inspired by some films I was watching to really give me the idea to kind of do a lot of symbolism involved with this. So I pretty much at the tail end of it, uh, post-production with it, and it's, that should be released early spring, and then end in a moment, after we shoot next month, and in April, we should be done with it by April, and hopefully, release? hopefully by this fall is when we'll premiere. Ah, over here in Fort Wayne, no? Yep, we'll have a premiere, We're looking at having a premiere at the Cinema Center downtown, and uh, yeah, we're probably going to do one premiere, um, which is different from what we did with The Realist. The Realist, we had the premiere at the Cinema Center, and mm -hmm. then we had a big screening tour, which we had screenings from all over, all over in Indiana. So we're not gonna we're not gonna do that this time around. We'll have one premiere, and then possibly a second screening of it. So, 
Would that be all over Indiana you're sending your films out to, to be shown in every cinema, theater, whatever? Um, no, pretty much what, um, what we did with The Realist is we've sent it out to a bunch of film festivals. Yes. Um, we got some, some bigger festivals turned it down, which, uh, you know, I have no problem with. I mean, it's one of our bigger short films that we've done, or one of our biggest productions that we've done so far, so... Our first one, so it, it doesn't surprise me that it got turned down by the bigger festivals. Because um, they don't know you yet, right? Huh? They don't really know you. They you got to break in slowly, I, or I don't know how. Yeah, and then, I mean, yeah, and then there's a lot. There's a lot of um, a lot of people that are sending me you know, their stuff in that have been doing it a lot longer than I have. Yeah. So um, more well it's, known. Uh, they got more experience than I do, but it's it, it doesn't phase me. Um, I just keep doing what I love to do. Keep writing what I like to write. And uh, with And in a Moment, um, it'll definitely be sent out to a lot of festivals as well. And hopefully we get good feedback out of it. You think, um, how long will this, in a, and, what's that called? And in a Moment? And in a Moment? And in a Moment. How long would that be? Honestly, Half hour? I, I couldn't tell you. Um, it's funny because The Realist was... 23 minutes. It was 23 minutes long, um, and the script was about 21, 22 pages. So, in a filmmaker's terms, usually a page of script is a minute in of, of screen time. Oh. So, that fit pretty much perfectly with the realist when we added the credits and stuff. But with and in a moment, there's a lot of stuff that we filmed that has been improvised, and a lot yeah. of stuff that we filmed wasn't even. On the, in the script, so yeah. with the four scenes or whatever that we shot so far, they're total in about 10 to 12 minutes, Each? and we have like 25 scenes, so it could be, I'm, I'm thinking, if I want to give it a guesstimate, it might be close to around 40 minutes or so. That's cool, and there'll be, I hope there's not going to be too much cutting in uh, as you were editing it, because uh, when you speak Improvise is kind of tough to know what to keep in and what to leave out. Yeah, and, and it's and that is another tough part too with um, improvisation because if you're, uh, you know, you do a one take one way, you know, and you do it all improvised, it's kind of hard to really mimic and do yes. the exact same lines a That's second true. take because it's all improvised. But the good thing about this is that we've got my buddy Austin and Bryce on it. Um, both running cameras, so we got two cameras on this getting different angles, so we're pretty much getting full coverage of a take and knocking it out that way. Mm. Mm -hmm. What other um, projects are you working on besides just those films? Is there anything else outside the filmmaking that you're doing? Um, Events? Yeah, well, uh, huh? yeah, outside of my own films, I've actually got... Um, this past summer, I was a cinematographer for my buddy Adam King's film, mm. Dowdy Row, yeah. which, was shot in, which was shot in Bluffton, Indiana. Oh, yeah. And uh, that was a super fun shoot. It was a three-day shoot. Um, first time working with Adam, and it was great because um, we had very similar producing and directing styles and techniques, so we kind of, we meshed really well right off the get, right off the, right off the bat. And um, so it was great to do that, and that should be that should be releasing this summer. So mm, I like to go. Say, say what? I like to go to that. Yeah, I think um, I think what he's trying to do with that is send it to the Hobnob and Film Festival in Fort Wayne. Mm -hmm. That's what he's looking at right now. I'm not really sure that his other future plans for it are, but then he's wanting to meet a direct. Another one of his films this coming summer, and my buddy Austin will be cinematographer for that, so I'm mm -hmm. pretty excited about that. Oh, yeah. You're going to be um, filming in their shows, too, other yeah. than just yeah, your own? Yeah, pretty much, because um, it's all, not only, you know, do I do my own films, I do a lot of my friends' films, too. True. And so, been actually busy with my buddy Ryan Hastings, his film, with, and his uh, company, Gunslinger Motion Pictures. Um, he, we actually just shot a couple weekends ago his action film called Impresario. We shot oh. a whole weekend. That's already wrapped up. 
and in post production editing right now. And you're one busy pretty, dude. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that'll be pretty stylized film once it's done. Um, and then next weekend, finishing up a pilot that Ryan is doing called a, uh, I think it's called a comedy of airs. And uh, I'm actually acting in that, but also I've also helped produce and, cin- and did a cinematography for it too. So other yeah. than that, um, uh, 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 how I, about talking about the Indiana filmmaking community? So uh, let's talk about that. You know, I mean, is there a large peop- group of people in there? Um, it's crazy because when I, before I even. Um, Got into filmmaking. I didn't really know knew that there was a market yeah, in yeah. Indiana for it until I actually became a part of it. Oh yeah. And uh, I met my buddy Austin and Adam. You know, right right off the bat, and really hit it off well with them. And I've been working with them since I don't know for a couple of years now. Is it a and, union? Uh, is it a union or so or what? No, no. This is all non-union. Um, this is pretty much just a bunch of. You know, a bunch of us that are really, really good friends that um, know how to do different, different um, duties on the job for filmmaking, and we just help each other out with our own projects and, and work together. And um, yeah, so we just pretty much all get together, and we're all from different parts of Indiana, and it's just this big um, community, this group of people. You know, some of my best friends, and we just get together and have fun and make movies. So who else, can anyone join? It's not really. It's not really like um, public, like a club or anything like that. It's literally, it's literally us just getting together and making films. I hear you. Just for the sake of making films and um, to be creative. Uh, it's really not not um, a club or anything like that. Or I wasn't expecting a club. But I was just thinking if if other people want to join up with you and. Muck about and do me filming and all that sort and become friends with you too. Oh yeah, definitely. We've actually had um, when we started when I did casting calls for And in a Moment, yeah. I got an email from a, a guy named Taryn and he hit me up and he was like, Hey, you know, I really would love to be a part of this film, you know, even as a production assistant I would love to help out in any way I can. Yeah. You know, and I loved his drive his drive right mm-hmm. off the bat and I wanted to um, make him a part of it. Now he's like our our um, onset PA and you know and he's we couldn't have asked for a better production assistant so it was great finding him and then we've just meet a lot of new people along the way and eventually we'll collab with all of them. Do you still sing? Do you sing at all in any of your films? Um, or do you I, want to go there? Um, no but there might be a little treat for all those who really did like my music, there might be a little treat in, yeah. in and in a moment. I love your music, really. I miss it. That might relate to that. So, uh, finally, uh, what would you like to uh, share with my audience about how to start and maintaining your dreams? I mean, oh. your point of view. My point of view um, for dreams is to just do it, you know, just uh, go out and whatever it is you like to do, music, film, go out and create something, go out and make sure that you go out and just experience it, you know, a lot of people are afraid to take the risks and just jump into it, you know, a lot of people are afraid to, you know, what if, you know, so-and-so doesn't like it, so-and-so doesn't, you know, doesn't like it, it's like, it, it should come down to who cares, um, because if you enjoy doing it, then there's nothing that should stop you. As Even long as you don't hurt anyone or yourself, that's that's one thing. But what you're saying is true. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's like a lot of people are, you know, they say that they want to do something, but they don't actually go out and do it. Um, right. That's a big thing is to just go out and do it, make something, create something, and go full force with it. Uh, learn from people that are better than you in the field. Um, Work with people that are better better than you in the field, and that's true. That that way will that way it'll build your character and also build your experience and knowledge as a filmmaker, musician, whatever it might be. Uh, you have a website. 
Yes, uh, staticheartproductions.com. You can find everything there, my music videos, short films, and uh, all the news, as well as you can check it out on Facebook as well as Instagram. You so, bet. You got your own Twitter? I do have a Twitter. And then, um, actually, before I want before we, um, we get off here, I want to throw a shout-out to some of my friends. Sure, go ahead. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I want to throw a shout-out to Undefined Cinema, Gunslinger Motion Pictures, Fritzel Media, Nowhere Pictures, Dueling Genre Pictures, and after Dueling Genre Productions. Oh, yeah. And, um... Yeah, I think that's about it for right now. Gee, you're, you're, you're such a nice person. I always like having you on my show because you, you're a sweet guy and you're very ambitious and I uh, we love you. And um, we're going to turn off now. This is Patty Hunter of Patty's Page. Thank you, Taylor Fredericks, you so for much. being on my show. Have a good day. You. you too. Why? That was an interesting show, wasn't it? It was great. Uh, Taylor is such a delight to interview. We learned all about his short films and what's coming up with his movies and everything like that. So this is Patty Hunter on Patty's page. I'll see you next week. Love you. Bye-bye. us all.